Welcome to Prairie Boy Fishing. Um, today we're set up in the shack. I've got uh, a jig and a minnow on this rod, a pretty big jig, I think maybe a quarter ounce, or no, one eighth ounce, and then on this I got like a 132 ounce jig. This is more for per jumbo perch. This one is more for walleye. So I've caught perch and walleye on both of these rods. So, we're, but our main focus today are big walleye, but I'll also take big perch. I got the flasher cam going. Um, and uh, hopefully we're gonna get some fish here. I've seen some fish. I caught a little perch off camera, and um, hopefully the fishing will pick up now. Stay tuned. There's just okay, there's a fish down there. On the... there's a fish on each. There's a fish below each rod. Come on, eat it. Fish is all over my little dead stick perch rod. Just all over it. Killing me. <sighs> okay, fish on the sword. Oh no, I missed him. Let's come back up, come back up. Here it comes. Oh, jeez. It's on it. Okay, there's something. Okay, something coming way up. Oh my goodness. Fish on. Better fish. Better fish. That's a big perch. That is a big perch. Holy smokes. I thought that was a walleye down there. Jeez. Ah, I'll give you a look. Man, it's been a while. I haven't got fish in about an hour. There's a nice little, nice chunky made. Maybe 10, 11 inch perch. There it goes. And, uh, let's try to catch a few more fish here. Stay tuned, we're gonna get some bigger ones. Some bigger perch and hopefully some bigger walleyes. I can almost guarantee it. I got a feeling. There's one in the bottom. I'm gonna get back down there and I'm gonna get some more. Oh, fish on the dead stick. Oh my goodness, finally. Oh my gosh, the hook just popped out. Holy smokes. Yeah. Okay, so we were going for big walleyes. And this isn't exactly a big walleye, but it's a fish. There we go, that's a nice fish. Nice Saskatchewan walleye. Gonna get it back. And I think the bite has started to turn on now, so. I'm gonna rebait. I'm gonna get back down there. I'm gonna get some more fish. Let's go! Finally! I'm cold, but I'm happy. Oh, we're in game.
Run the game. Okay, so my GoPro just died. It was about to die, so I turned it off. And um, I dropped down there right after catching that little walleye. And look at this pig walleye. That's what we wanted to catch today. I was really hoping our day has completely changed. Look at that fish, it's huge. Nice walleye. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a measurement on this thing. That's easily my PB walleye ice fishing. Holy smokes. Turn this the girl around. It's about 24, maybe 24, 25 inches. Nice big walleye. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna get her back. And there it goes. Let's go. Let's go. I'm so pumped. That's the walleye we wanted to catch. My hands are so cold. And I just caught that big walleye. That's awesome. Using a little jigging spoon. I'll show you after my GoPro's about to die. So I'm gonna shut it down, put in a new battery, and I'll explain to you what I'm doing. Let's go! Let's go! Okay, so I got a new battery in the GoPro. Now I'm gonna tell you what I was doing to catch that fish. So I just caught a little walleye, and I saw the mark on the screen. And this jig was this jigging spoon, this Lunkerton jigging spoon, just in the water column, just sitting up there, maybe two feet off the bottom, and the walleye was over top of it. And so I pulled it up over top of the walleye, and then I just jiggled it on the spot, and that fish just crushed it. Um, that walleye is about 24 and a half inches, probably around 6 pounds. It was super fat and heavy, and um, just so awesome to catch that fish. That's my PB walleye, ice fishing, and um, I'm so happy to catch it. And um, we're going to get back to fishing. Stay tuned. Okay, here's a mark coming up to my uh, jig. Oh, yeah, come on. on there. Wow. It is amazing how a day can turn around. I was having a really tough time catching fish. And now, 10 minutes later, I'm starting to catch them. I think it's a... I can't tell what... Oh, big perch. Big perch. There we go. Nice perch. Here we go. There's a nice chunky perch. Oh yeah, here we go. Got that back down. Oh. There it goes. Oh yeah, there we go. Man, three fish in like probably like not even ten minutes. Man, we're just crushing them. Just gonna fix my knot here and then get back down there. Going back down there to catch another fish. Let's go. Man, this day really turned around in 10 minutes. I was having a really tough day. Fish for like two and a half hours. Caught like one little perch. One or two little perch, and then a few fish roll in. And now I've got a big walleye, big perch, and another good size uh, walleye. So. I was gonna, I was, I was contemplating about leaving and I was gonna change baits and then didn't touch anything and then 
finally worked out and I got a few so stuck with the stuck with the process and catch them now I think there's another fish on the bottom so I'm just gonna keep getting them now Whew, I'm still trying to calm down from that big wall I'm just so pumped This is called a flasher. This is a Vexlar 28. And um, the one that's moving up and down right now, that is my perch rod. It's moving up and down. Okay. Just gotta get. Okay. So I'm moving up and down right now. That's my perch rod. Okay. Now I'm gonna put that one to the bottom. Now that one's on the bottom. And this is my other rod. This is kind of my walleye rod. Just with the jing spoon on it. And it's just up there, a little higher in the water column. And then anything that comes off the bottom is a fish. Except for that one, that's my jig. But anything that comes up here, off here, or even up here somewhere in here, that's gonna be a fish. And then they're gonna come up to me, and they're, they're, they'll come up, and they're gonna eat it then. And so, there's something kind of on the bottom right now, but it's just sitting there, so now I'm just gonna wait. That's pretty much how this works, you just, I'm, usually I just fish with one hook on the flasher, but today I got two, drill the hole in the middle and had rods on each side. And so I'm fishing the wall, I hook a little higher in the water column. And then my perch hook a little closer to the bottom. And so it's pretty simple, that's how a flasher works. And um, it just sends a beam down all the way to the bottom and then these marks is whatever's under it, I guess. It's kind of the simplest way to explain it. Hope you understand. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed. I had a great time today. It started off slow, but I ended up catching some nice, a few nice perch, a little walleye, and then a hog walleye. So that was awesome. I'm so pumped. Such a great morning out here. Um, didn't even have to leave the shack. Did the intro in the shack. Finishing the video in the shack. Caught the fish in the shack. Everything worked out great. Um, went perfectly. I got to chase some big Saskatchewan walleye. I was chasing some big Saskatchewan walleye, and I caught a big Saskatchewan walleye, and it all worked out. Um, had a great weekend out here. Fished quite a bit, and um, I hope you enjoyed this video. And um, remember, play hard, work harder, fish the hardest.